Hi friends, it's me Janice Baylor back with you again today for another fun, fabulous drop-in art program. Again, I would like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts for continuing to sponsor our program online. Today we are going to make a beautiful kind of watercolor inspired leaf garland out of coffee filters. If you would like to learn how to make this beautiful autumnal decoration, stay tuned. Here are the supplies coming right up. For today's project, you will need a tray or non-porous surface such as a ceramic plate, a pair of scissors, a coffee filter, many coffee filters, some washable water-based markers, a hole punch, twine or ribbon, some water in a spray bottle, and perhaps a pen or a pencil, and maybe a leaf or two that you can trace to get a leaf shape. To get started, you will want to take your coffee filter on your plate or tray and smooth it out to make it kind of flat so you can add color. So then we're just going to make big scribbles of color. This is really fun and relaxing. Just choose whichever colors you would like. Um, I have a recycled brown colored coffee filter here, which is gonna make my leaves a little bit more muted than maybe what you would want. Although I think that could look very pretty and authentic too. But if you want brighter colors, then make sure you're using the white coffee filters, the bleached color ones. And so you just want to go ahead and add big scribbles of color. And I'm going to try to put them in like areas where they can blend together a little bit and they might look good. Uh, this area might get a little brown, but that's very authentic to leaves too. So have fun playing with different color combinations. And this is a project that we are going to need to let time to dry. So just keep that in mind. You may wanna have several ceramic plates available or a large tray so you can make a few at a time and then let them sit. So the next step is after you have your scribbles of color is to go ahead and generously wet them with your spray bottle and watch the colors swirl around. To assist in that, you can kind of lift it up and let the help the water to flow around on your filter. And you can see that it's starting to blend together and you'll get lots of movement. And then you can just set this aside and let it dry, okay? So I've made several that have already dried that we can use to complete our project. So you can see these were done on white coffee filters. So the colors are a little bit more true and bright and um, that's fine. But I also think here's one that's partially dry that I did on brown. And I think that that one looks very true to color of leaves too. So it depends on what you're going for. If you want a brighter look, make sure to get the white coffee filters. Okay, so the next step is to cut out some leaf shapes. So you can do that by taking a coffee filter, as I have here, one of the dry ones that I made earlier, and I folded it in half, and just to make a really simple, um, like, long oval, you can either freehand draw that or freehand cut that out, or you can kind of use the coffee filter itself. See how it has the rounded edge? So we can just use that and fold our filter over to the point and kind of put the go ahead and put the crease in it. And then we'll just cut along this edge and we will get two leaves from the coffee filter that are this elongated oval shape. And you just have to make sure to cut the whole way through. So you can make all of your garland out of these elongated ovals. Or if you like, we can make one that is shaped like a maple leaf or other leaves that you may find in your yard. So to do that, you will want to, here's another dry coffee filter. You will want to take your leaf that you found outside and place it on your filter in a spot where you really like the colors and go ahead and trace around it. 
And I think for this, you don't have to be super accurate. I wouldn't worry about getting every single bump and nook in the leaf. I would just go ahead and try to get the general shape. So go ahead and trace it all the way around. And then we'll cut that out. There you have a maple leaf, a couple of maple leaves and a couple of elongated leaves and a couple that are a little bit heart shaped. And if you don't like having the white or that bothers you, you could go ahead and touch that up. So to thread our leaves, we need to create a hole. So you can either do that by snipping with scissors. If you don't have a hole punch, just go ahead and cut in and make a little notch that you can thread through. Or if you have a nice hole punch, you can go ahead and come in and leave a few inches at the top and punch a hole. So you wanna punch a hole for every one of your leaves. I'm gonna do it, these last few together. That punch is a little bit better. Maybe you wanna double a few up. And then we can Thread them onto our twine, or you can use ribbon. And I would just kind of say maybe alternating a little bit. Or here I have, I'll, maybe I'll do two of the elongated ovals and a maple leaf. If you want to keep them in a certain spot, you could tie them in place along your ribbon or you could just leave them spaced out kind of naturally and allow for that movement. But there you have your garland, your beautiful autumnal garden. You can hang that up across a door, might be beautiful, or your mantle or uh, anywhere you would like. So thanks for creating with me today, friends. Bye-bye.